this is another um, example of how how to think like the G, like how to um, yeah, of how how it works to think with concepts and words and and how to relate them with desire and the how to in a signifying fashion. But this is true only on the level of the strata. A parallelization, a parallelization between two strata, such that an animal organization on one imitates a plant organization on the other. like a fat boy um, and he's with a whole lot of machines. So basically it's about a boy um, disassociating himself with family and associating himself with machines and society. So, and this is basically a video representation of the offering. Because yeah, it's him talking about philosophy and he's talking about arithmetic function. Um, and he's connecting to society, he's finding his blog, and he's going through it, and he's reading it to us. It's like, kind of like ginger is a rhizome. It, ginger has rhizomatic root, so, um, as opposed to a tree, which is, so like, here he, re, he understands the de So like, with capitalist society, we've got, like, I guess, of course, like, there's government, Maybe do people want to start yelling out things that they think are part of um, <coughs> capitalist society? We've got media. What else? Amenities. Amenities. Corporations. Yeah. Oh, amenities. Okay. Amenities. Pharmaceutical. Thanks, because acronyms are important in rhizomatic thinking. So, capitalism. We have MNCs, media, government, pharmaceuticals. What else? What else are big in, in capitalism? We've got capital dollars. Um, technology. Technology. <coughs> oh. uh, eh. <coughs> So basically we're going to try and overload the table with, with our couple of things and how they relate. So we've got penis, which kind of still relates to a bicycle, the unmarried, and uh, what was it? Uh, sexual desire. I don't know why I started with hands. So penis and then adults relates to penis pharmaceuticals. <coughs> we all received those spam emails about Viagra. <laughs> so that's of course something we need to to add to the equation. Pharmaceuticals, which of course like also internet. Pharmaceutical relates to technology. Where did that? Technology, technology, and then. Um, so technology, internet, media, because now, because we're at the limit of capitalism and a lot of, and our media is now like, is, well, people are relying more on the internet as the media 
source, but meteor, of course, proliferate, proliferates all the lives and are run by MNC. So, meteor is also an agent of the government. And then, of course, what drives MNCs is the production of capital. And that, in turn, also drives the media. Don't forget labor. And labor, yeah, that's important. So we have capital here. Um, media here. And, cap and labor, which is, of course, the people. But also technology now used for labor. So labor is me. Labor, labor, so I'm producing capital. Okay. But I'm also working for an MNC. Also get all my information from the media, and I have a penis because I'm a person. Okay. Um, tennis. Uh oh. Uh, tennis media. Let's go. <laughs> um. Isn't that run by a multinational corporation? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Multi-million dollar industry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we'll put that. Does tennis involve labor or is it is entertainment labor? That's a weird thing, isn't it? People work at tennis. Yeah, I guess people work at tennis. And they get paid, like they get prize money. So then it's also. But it's all the people who who work around the tennis industry. Because of labor. Okay, so it just keeps on creating this body without organs, which is capital. The capital starts, of course, then getting picked up again by media, and it starts like proliferating like that. So it's that's kind of how D and G reap capitalism. The idea that um, they they deal with the idea of, of society might one day want to actually be a, bo a whole body without organs, like where we won't have desire as the power, um, as the power relation between us. So in capitalism, our flows, like which are the sticky tape, um, they go between two poles where they deterritorialize or re-territorialize. And often, like, capitalism uses this um, re-territorialization to create polar opposites. Like, the meteor creates polar opposites, right? To, um, for, for us, why? Because they're trying to revive, um, they're trying to revive this despotic society. Like, they're trying to revive, like, a despotic society, but capitalism, um, like, but capitalism comes in to change that because there's no good or bad because it's about who has the money. And it starts not, and, and to artificial things. Like, so the, your desires aren't primal anymore, your desires are like for a Gucci handbag or etc. not for like a uh, black like tempeh or, I'm oh, sorry. You know, like it, it's like, if there's more sixes inside of it, because capitalism is working at this limit, right? It's, it's always just at the limit. It doesn't like go past. Like this schism where we have, where we could like have a, a a total explosion, it always kind of draws itself back back in with something. Like it's always drawing stuff. That that's why I did my performance because I wanted to make it go past. Like I wanted it to to make itself hurt with itself. You know, like I do that that it has to um it has to go past the limit where. Where, um, yeah, because the schizophrenic tendency is the revolutionary tendency of capitalism.